Google has released a new version of their Gemini 2.5 Pro model and in this video we are going to test it out hands on. This model is especially geared towards rich web application and that is exactly what I am going to test out. So I will be generating the code with this model and we will test it out in real time in the browser. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If you are not aware of Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro model, we have been covering this model for quite some time now and Google has become quite active in the last few months when it comes to 2.5 series and they have been re releasing like crazy around this model as you can see from these videos. Now this model is still in preview and I believe they are going to release in their upcoming IO event which is going to happen in few days but they already have released it in a preview mode on their Google's AI studio where you can access and test it for free and I will drop the link to it in videos description. All you need to do is to just sign in with your free Google's email account and then from the right just select this version of 2.5 Pro. If you click on this drop down you can see that there are few other versions too but make sure that you are on this May version here. Now before we test it out let's have a very very quick review of this model because there are a lot of interesting features which they have released for this model in my opinion so for instance you can see that this is the google's latest advancement mainly for coding and web development if you want to build interactive web apps you want to transform and edit code in them and you want to handle complex agent workflow with improved reliability then maybe th give this model a go not only does it lead the web dev arena leaderboard for creating functional and aesthetic apps but it also boasts state-of-the-art video understanding developers can access gemini 2.5 pro preview through google's ai studio vertex ai or the gemini app app plus through their api which is also quite performant so all in all you can perform a wide range of coding tasks both in educational and professional setting and there is a lot of other information which i have put it in so i'm not going to read it through this uh, table let's go to google's ai studio and create our first web app so first i'm asking it to create me a complete self-contained html file for an interactive to-do list web app with the following features and then there are various features and i have also interested it i instructed it that if i have to run it i just need to put it in the dot html file so let's run this and it is running at the moment i will also show you its thinking which is always fascinating to watch and it is giving us the breakdown of the thought process where it is understanding the core requirements it is creating the skeleton and then cascading style sheet there you go already looks really really high quality and it is um, really i have to admit that google's 2.5 model has come a long way when it comes to coding so you see it has generated this code so i will wait for it to finish generating and then i will paste it in the browser to see how this goes almost there and while it does that let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation okay let's go back to our a studio so let me copy this code I'll just quickly show you the code too. So it has properly commented and everything. So I'm just going to paste it from here. And I will just put it in my browser and run it. So you have pasted it in my HTML file and there you go. So looks really good. Let me add a task here and press add task. So I just added this task that attend daily stand up. Uh, go for a walk i just pressed enter instead of clicking there so which is quite good hopefully i can uh edit it so you see it says this page says so all in a self-contained 
browser so i'll just say maybe and drink beer instead uh, and then you can keep adding tasks here so it looks pretty good let's generate one more okay so let me scroll down and you see that it has also explained the whole code which it has generated and how to use very nice okay let's uh, create a fully functional single file html flashcards for quiz app that lets a user create edit and delete these flashcards and there are few features which i have asked it to do looks pretty good so let it generate and then we will test it out and it has generated this full-blown code so let me quickly show you the code here so looks pretty good you see it's very detailed looks fairly complete so it takes its sweet time but generates a real good stuff and then it is telling us how to use it now what i'm going to do i already have pasted it in my vs code so i'm just going to refresh this browser page for you there you go how good that looks now we can add a new card so maybe i'll just add this card here um what is capital of australia we can say sydney save card and then maybe add let's add one more card uh, who is fahad mirza yeah you Uber. save here and then let's flip the card so an a youtuber and then we will say yep and then flip it flip it flip it next flip it and then we can just play around with it and uh, of course we can do the scoring too by sim simply clicking in on the score button of course you see it is increased you can got it wrong and that will keep uh, incrementing so looks pretty good and of course you can reset the score too there you go okay finally let's do one animation sort of thing so i am asking it to create me a self-contained html file to display an interactive aurora borealis and if you don't know what aurora aurora borealis is or it is northern lights which is one of the most beautiful spectacle on the planet it's a natural light display in the earth uh, sky predominant predominantly seen in around i guess arctic norway and that sort of part of the world now look at the code looks really really cool and look at the speed and i believe um, it is better than anthropics cloud 3.7 i have no qualms in saying that but i will also do a comparison video soon around both of these so stay tuned so it has generated the code let's now check it out in the browser so i'm just going to refresh it again okay so i'll just click here and wait for it yep you see something is happening here cool i'm just going to increase this intensity of auroras could be better now okay so i'm just so hue works but i think i'll just keep it whatever that is I was expecting this to more intense. You see, this, there is something moving. It's not intense. Okay, let me go back and say that the Aurora Borealis is not intense and looks faded and jaded. We we'll improve it and try to mimic the real one let's keep it quick let's try to check it out and this is the second attempt and now there is no error of release happening at all and i'm showing you as is without any editing i have increased this it so it has changed the sky to some starry one which is beautiful but the actual thing hasn't been done and I have to admit, most of the models failed this test. So 
I will just do one final iteration on this and see if it gets it right. And this is third and final iteration, much better, <laughs> much, much better. And let me change the light intensity a bit. Yeah, that is good. But I would still think that, you know, it doesn't really reflect the Aurora Borealis. There are no random splashes and that sort of stuff. The actual thing is way more beautiful. Yeah, so animation speed you can start, you know, increase and decrease. But so I would say that still it's a fail. So developers jobs are still safe. Anyway, let me know what do you think about this. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.